Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Natural Bridge, Virginia. And I've decided to stop off here at one of my favorite roadside attractions, Dinosaur Kingdom 2. This is the creation of my friend Mark Klein, who is an absolute wizard in the art form of fiberglass, and has made this attraction, a very interesting attraction, where Civil War soldiers battle dinosaurs, along with Sasquatch and other fun, interesting elements. Um, I was thinking Mark might be around today, so hopefully we'll run into him. Uh, but let's uh, check out Dinosaur Kingdom 2. Please follow me. Always has some interesting fiberglass figures out front. The Franken chicken there. Looks like this poor robot has had his arm torn off. You now, this dragon right here is actually from the Enchanted Forest um, in Maryland, a little storybook park. And as we walk past this giant tick, I think these uh, see no evil. Speak no evil, hear no evil monkeys. I think these are a new addition. As you can see the entrance here, the railroad. You can see that Civil War soldier battling with the T-Rex up there. Little friend, his name is Thurman. Thurman? Yes, it is. Oh, come on, there you go. Oh, hey there. He's friendly. Kids usually oh, like battle. Yeah, the nice dinosaur. Oh my gosh, he bit my hand clean off. All right. And uh, so, so this year we created a, a new t-shirt for, you know, strictly because of the Bigfoot shootout show. It's the Bigfoot got me wet t-shirt. Nice. <laughs> so you got Bigfoot there, he's wrestling with the yeah, kind of so sort of blast. And, and there's some, some innuendos there, you know, the, the, the spout coming out of the top of the, you know, shooting out of the top of the, the gun. And the, one of these days I was like, man, I need to have one of these. And I was looking, I was like, wow, like, really? $14.95 for these? Not even I can afford this. <laughs> and then Donna says, oh yeah, but it's two for 25. Like that's a deal. The brand new, oh, yeah, new uh, comic? Mark Klein, uh, Ridiculously Dark Humor, Funnies from the Morgue, which is very much like, if you like Tales from the Crypt. So it has a lot of the type, the 11 different type stories that are done sort of in that style. And uh, here's the one we were talking about earlier today, Donna. This is Donosaurus, or as I like to call her, <laughs> Donosaurus. Oh, oh. Anyway, she's... Uh, <laughs> Hello. The beauty Hello. and the beef. The beauty and the beef. Yeah. It's all right. You know, when it starts raining, we tell people, sell them the ticket anyway. Tell them it's like Jurassic Park. <laughs> Just adds to it. We don't charge any extra for the special effects. Anyway, so what we're going to do... Oh, look at this. That's cool. Look at this. We got everything here, even butterflies. Oh yeah, it's like Westworld here. Don't worry, it's like the little mechanical butterflies. It's like you know that's one of my it's one of my most proudest little accomplishments. Nobody notices it. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Whoa, it's like a pterodactyl. Mmm. <laughs> How does this work? You have the... This is, yeah, this is really cool. What we do is we get people to stand in here. And um, actually my uncle built this, built something similar to this. And I stole the idea from him. I thought this was really, really neat. I mean, this this could be something, you know, as popular as... You're the, as your head in there. You know, the, what was the, 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 bean, the bean bag throw, what is that? Um, what, what, do you, what do you call that? The corn, cornhole corn thing? Hole. It could be, that, this could be as big as the cornhole. This is the new, the new cornhole? It could be, you know? Well, of course, cornhole, cornhole replaced the, the ever popular jarts. Remember that? Get a bunch of drunks <laughs> throw the, you know, the, the big heavy darts. Oh, the lawn darts? The, yeah. Oh, God. I think, those are, I think those were made illegal. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, we used to like to you get a bunch of rednecks sitting around drinking and playing lawn darts. And our, our favorite game was to take about four or five of them and throw them up in the air and stand there and see who was the last one, you know, standing who would you know who would who would run the last but anyway all right so that what happens is this is filled up with the slime or the water 
Go ahead, Daytona. I want you to stick your head in there. I'll, I'll put my head in there. Go ahead. Don't so need to cool down. Take some of his bean bags. All right. People stand in behind here. It's very much like a feeling of it's like the anticipation, like you're in one of those, like on one of those things. Oh, oh! Oh! You didn't give me time to anticipate. <laughs> So you gotta hit the gold tooth there? Yeah, you hit the gold tooth and look at this. You know, families will do this and um, and I'll tell them, you know, yeah, I did this earlier and, uh, oh, son, you know, I had a full head of hair when I started out, but you put the wrong chemical in there, you know, in about two hours, you can start looking like me. Look up the revolving clock. All right, heading into the time machine there. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that clock. Hope nobody had a big lunch. Here we go. Oh, I think that's new. She's chewing, chewing her cud there. Extinction Junction. Ain't moving today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that should be hatching in about two and a half days. Some eggs saying. in there. Very good. This is the, the jail here? Yeah, we throw, uh, we have all kinds of options for people to get. Yeah. Lock their kids in there if they don't behave. This, if you look through the water, this, you see the, the highly detailed alligator figure in here. Now, I, I made this, I molded this after, actually after a dead gator. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and you know why? Why? Because it's so hard to make one off a live one. <laughs> I imagine. There's my pal Mark. This right here, um, this was the actual, this, this is the, the, the first design, okay? The very first Dinosaur Kingdom 2 design when I came up with the concept of this. Now, we walked up to the train station, that's where you purchase your tickets, so I did a depot, and then you walked into the train car. This is all a little bit different, but you can see where the, the yeah. idea came from. You know, you see the telephone, the posts here. And I wanted it so that people's adventure began in the parking lot. In other words, when you walk, when you park here, you hear the music, you hear the sounds, you you see something here that you know something big is kept behind. Mr. Slime was here, but you can see that because they really don't step in there. It's, okay. It's really nasty. It's, and then of course, whenever you see that, you will see that uh, a slime, Mr. Slime, was not that far behind. Like, see in here? No, see. But I I know one's here. Oh, we Wait have a, a minute. Popcorn with this. Think you pet a raptor? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got to get this into Gettysburg. Oh, yeah. This is probably the only dinosaur park in the world where you get to pet a raptor. Now, if we get some kids back here, we'll get them to try it. But I'm a little bit skittish because, you know, one out of 20 times, I'm not that successful with this. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah! ah! You just bit that one finger? Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm pretty lucky because look at this hand. Oh no. Oh. Let's see, pet the, rap, pet the raptor. Oh, here we go. Hello. Oh! Oh, it spewed on me. <laughs> it's a blasted with some, some raptor, raptor snot right there. This is awesome. This is, you should really follow. We didn't, we thought it was going to be more like dinosaur. Oh no, this is cool. Like Create your own. Just notice this here is the triceratops skeleton. Uh-oh, you see the water tower there has sprung a leak. All right, gonna get a backstage peek at the back cave. The back cave for the uh, Bigfoot gunfight. I know Bigfoot's back here. I'm... You can smell him? I'm smelling him. He's back in here someplace. Come on back in here. Oh. oh, look here, look at you. Oh, look, he's got all the Bigfoot skins hanging here. We yeah, learned, from, learned from last year that we needed to have more than one outfit. Does it get wet and smelly pretty quick? Oh. <laughs> That's even before he puts on the costume. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I look, first looked at this boy and said, man, I got the perfect job for you. He came, he, he came out just to fix my compressor. 
<laughs> and he left his big foot. I, I, I took a picture, like so I just took a picture and this, mm, what size in my what size you wear? And he was like, mm, what? You know, what's all this all about? You know. So, so, I want you to play Bigfoot for me, son. Backstage at the Bigfoot Green Room. We have all kinds of wonderful things. The Bigfoot hand. Yeah, Some Bigfoot heads. Some wonderful things, yes. What other YouTube channel gives you a behind the scenes look at a Bigfoot gunfight? Oh. 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 I didn't know you like classical music, Bigfoot. <laughs> they say music soothes the savage music. Oh! oh. Bigfoot's bring out the big guns. Oh no! Bigfoot just turned on that sprinkler. There he's coming. Bigfoot, we're friends! Ah. Oh, no. Alright, this is our Triceratops bull fight. And what we do. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? It was. Wow, that was fun. And people get to draw off with the, with the red cave. With the red cave. <laughs> so anyway, this is how this was designed. I, I wanted to come up with something that was really, you know, really, really different. And so the idea was like, how, how are we going to pull off the idea of having a bullfight for the Triceratops? Well, we came up with all kinds of wonderful little ideas, and which none of them, by the way, seemed safe. <laughs> so, so we came up with this, and originally this was supposed to roll out. But then we realized very quickly that that wasn't a good idea because people would roll it and run each other over. Like, like parents would definitely parents would like deliberately like smack it into their kids, you know? <laughs> just for the sake of a video, so they make it win ten thousand dollars off of some TV show. <laughs> anyway, so we came up with this where it doesn't really move, uh, you know, forward and backwards, but it does have several other movements. And people, when they bring their uh, their phones. They put their in there and they put they push it on video. So what it does is it actually picks up, it picks up just the head, and then we turn on the Mexican music. Or I'm sorry, Latino music. <laughs> and we'll come back here. <laughs> and, and they only get the head with the child. All right. The here. All right. Got the Triceratops. Full fight. Alright. Ole! Westworld here, man. It's like, like after every every <laughs> evening, I come in and make sure everything is is running. <laughs> make sure there's no Yule Brenner running around. Yeah, one. Of the, you know what? I, I think one day I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stand in here. I'm just gonna stand in here with these guys dressed in blue. 
Are you gonna jump scare people or are you just gonna stand there? Just stand there and see if they <laughs> notice. Oh! What's going on? Is that Mary Todd Lincoln in there? Yeah, that's Mary Todd right there. She, she ran the whole household. Very few people know that. Lincoln and, up there. I mean, he's trying to retrieve what's left of the Gettysburg Address. And this pterodactyl. See, oh, yeah. I mean, see, people don't know this. That's why it was so short. The pterodactyl ate most of it. Makes sense. Who's this? Todd. Todd? Yeah, old Todd. Milking the uh, stegosaurus. Yeah. I, I think it'd be great to sell, to sell a steg, steg milk. Uh, Absolutely. I'd buy some. I'm, I'm sure you would. <laughs> There were several new things that I wanted to put in this year. Um, we're just gonna have to wait till next year. We're gonna open up the dino, the dino dungeon. We didn't get a chance to open up that, but I did add uh, several new props because you know where, where, where are you gonna go uh, you know, to, to get that old time you know religion that inspires you and really and you know really gets your heart pumping? It's you'll come to a church. And that's Stonewall Jackson and his mechanical arm. Yeah, I love this. The Stonewall Jackson, this mechanical arm battling the great white dinosaur there. Yeah, see, this was left out of the history books too. Uh, there, so much is changing. I mean, it's just really painful how they, you know, he didn't really die, but they actually kept that whole all secretive. You know, he Stonewall Jackson, he actually went undercover and they gave him this steampunk mechanical arm and then, you know, after the war he, he joined up with P.T. Barnum as the bearded lady. The bearded lady. Very sneaky. And I wrapped her up there. Very sneaky. And this is an early GPS. Very, very early G version of the GPS. And these are very accurate too. You know, if you started here and walked, you'd be 149 miles till you got to, to Richmond, Manassas, 176 miles. Um, Stegosaur poop, 17. 17 this, is the, feet? this is the only way we can really we can really test the accuracy, okay? Okay. Let's see, it's in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Up, oh, see? GPS was off even back then. You know, uh, like so, but the only way that this does not look like stegosaur poop, it looks more like triceratops poop, but there's only one way to really tell. How's that? Nope, it's stegosaur poop. You can tell because of the berries. The berries? Yeah, the triceratops don't touch the berries. The gorilla stealing that guy's clothes. Yeah, and he was molding off my face years ago. Oh, that's you? Well, what I'll do is like I'll, I'll mold these things off my face and then I'll and then I'll alter them. Wait a minute, I don't think that was my face. I don't know, take a look. <laughs> oh, so yesterday, a guy named Ronnie Custer comes to visit me. Yeah. Now Ronnie was up here last year. And Ronnie happened to be the great great grandson of George Custer who's painted on this Demetrius oh, yeah. over here. So I got a picture of me and me and Ronnie sitting here beside this. And Ronnie's probably 71, 72 years old. So we're sitting down here and uh, you know and Ronnie's sitting right here in front of this Indian. I'm sorry, Native American. And uh, I said, Ronnie, do you, do you feel nervous? Do you feel nervous? And he said, No, no. He said, But you, 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 you want to know what's really I ironic? I said, What? He said, I got shot in the eye by an arrow when I was seven years old. <laughs> and that's ironic. I was like, Uh, okay. It sounds like the family curse. I'm glad I'm not related to you, son. I don't think I'll have it ready. Like so that's that's your face right there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's me. Yeah. But uh, I had to alter the nose a little bit. No, that's me. Maybe about 25 years ago. We did a big show in Roanoke, Virginia called the Barnum of the Blue Ridge. It was a big art show, broke all attendance records, big to do. Um, and they wanted something that was sort of making fun of when you walk into Disneyland. You know, this is me and Mr. Slime. There you go, just like the partner statue. That's right. Now about midnight we go up there, we switch places. <laughs> we I think this is, I think this is new. Yeah, oh yeah. You're the baby changing station. Baby X changing. Baby X changing. Oh, so. <laughs> The, the brontosaurus exchanges yeah. the baby. You have the little baby Mr. Slime there. Yeah, and of course, we've mixed in a couple of famous American paintings. Oh, it's the mashup between actually, the, actually, this was, uh, the, the Scream and American Gothic. Yeah, 
And we don't have enough faces to fill that up here, so that's what we usually do. But, but, we, but we try to do this like real, but, but we don't have enough faces to fill it up. We try to do it like real quick. You don't Maybe nobody will notice. Do it quick so, so it looks like there's three yeah. faces at once. Nobody will notice. <laughs> maybe maybe it'd be a little blur. All right, watch still. We'll hope this give you a free The Slime Slinger Express. Got the Mr. Slime there with some heavy artillery being pulled by a giant mantis. Oh, here. <laughs> You know what you can do with big ink cartridges. <laughs> now I'm gonna fill some of these full of slime and have them like, like they're busted into some of the buildings in the town. Oh yeah. Like maybe some inside of a dinosaur. But yeah, people can get up in this, get their pictures took. I like his, I like his mustache there. Man, you should see when we fire this up, boy. Get back, get back. You'll enjoy this. Come all in, into here. And yes, yeah, it's small, but people really enjoy themselves when they come in here. And they can dig around here a little bit and dig up the, the mouth of a, I don't know, a carnivore. And oh, damn, look at this. I keep telling people not to throw their butts in here. <laughs> right. ah, here let's cover that up. This is wrong. I notice these, these are new, aren't they? These giant... Uh... Yeah, we put them up, uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know what they are, but they came from the uh, Magic Forest up in New York. This was called the Magic Forest. I think I had all of the fiberglass giants. I was tricked into coming into this maze too. That's how they get you. That sounds pretty sincere. All right, this is kind of cool. This is the Chamber of Secrets, the Chamber of No Secrets. Someone in your group go stand at the star on the other side and whisper, what do you hear? So you stand here, good sir. Okay. You stand here. And I'm gonna go to the, uh, to the other side and I'm gonna whisper something. Okay. Okay, okay let's see if you can, see if it picks up. Okay. okay. The most asinine sculpture that I've ever built. Okay. This is the reveal. All right, all right. Here it is. So the most asinine sculpture created by Mark Klein. It's ass, ass in a nine. Ass a nine. You don't get that, do you? You don't get that of your nose. I gotta use the facilities before we hit the road. All right. And we make we try to make it comfortable for everybody, you know, so that they can. Of course, you know, the thing that's really odd about this uh, this Johnny house, other than there's a giant T-Rex looking at you, <laughs> is there's there's nowhere to go. Oh jeez. Here boy. Here boy. Oh. Now I regret not putting that hole in the seat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ride over to the Enchanted Castle Studios and see what uh, Mark's been working on in his shop. He's a very stealth dude right here. <laughs> all of a sudden he, that's, that's, that's how it gets you. All of a sudden he's on you. These Are these from Magic from, Forest? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. What was his name? Jack. Jack uh, Gillette, I think his name was. Yeah. And he, he came down and sold these to me. I didn't need them, but I, I liked them. Look, at they got really kind of a cool style. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Anyway, so we're, we're making some real attempts to straighten this up and clean this up. I actually built a new warehouse, which is over here. Um, this horse monster here. That's so cool. Yeah, this seems made out of bits and pieces of things laying around. Sometimes I'll get a wild hair. So right here, <laughs> this is... 
I like this. We just, yeah, I got one of my guys just to clean up the, the shop here, and he kind of threw this together like this, and I said, oh, wow, you know, we can actually take a picture, turn this into postcards, and have Grandma sitting there and it's over top saying, finally made it to Disneyland. Some of my magic over here. Uh, oh, I've got an opportunity to use this. i got a show coming up on, oh, yeah? on, on August the 28th. So I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I saw Mark Wilson do this live at Hershey Park one time, and he was a very famous magician at the time, and I was like, this is what attracted me. It was called a zigzag. So you put a woman here and you cut her into a couple of pieces and separate her. You know, you got to put her back together. That's just, you know, that's the part. It's, it's, that's the part that you're working on? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. So every Christmas this turns into the, I've, I've become the Grinch or my daughter becomes the Grinch and it teeters on Mount Crumpet. So it's very Jim Carrey-ish. A couple of new things for south of the border. And there are three of these. These cactuses? Yeah. No, no. Cacti. Cacti? I'm sorry. <laughs> the cactus cacti from so, south yeah, of the yeah, border. Yeah, look, look here, you'll see the little, see the stickers Oh, those people stuck. They give those stickers away for free, so that's why people <laughs> have so many of them. Yeah, uh-huh. Here's a piece of fun that we're building. Uh -huh. So you can see parts of them. They look like giant pickles them. So basically what we did is we we brought one of these in off of one of the, the cacti and this is what's called a shell off of it. So that's a duplicate. So we make one of these and then we just cast this, you know, however many times we need it. Um, here's a new, uh, new giant. This is actually a small one. So here he's doing a... So is this a brand new one that you've made? Yeah. So, where's this going? Not sure. Um, I'm doing this for a guy. I'm replacing it um, for a man that uh, I had. I built one for him years ago, and uh, I don't know what he's going to do with it. And in fact, I don't know what he. You can kind of see his face up under there. We're 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 gonna we're gonna probably turn him into a fireman or a soda jerk or something. Um, I take him to a certain point, and then they then people tell me, oh, we want him to be this, a baseball player, or this or that. So. So we, we sort of have a sort of a, in limbo right there for now. We used our, 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 our like our honey, our, we shrunk the kids shrinking ray to, to do this to natural bridge. Oh, so that's natural yeah, bridge. Natural bridge. <laughs> we, 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 we shrink it down. We hold it for ransom. One million dollars. Nice. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so we're going to hold it up for one million dollars. This is actually fiberglass. It's, it's what we call the unnatural bridge. Uh, unnatural. The unnatural bridge. And all the heads up here. See these? These came out of the wax museum. Yeah, the old natural wax bridge, museum. wax museum. But uh, I like to tell people that those are people that don't like my work. <laughs> oh, look at this! Some critics go too far. <laughs> this is my new warehouse I have put together. We're in the process of stocking it full of molds, and you know I'm actually. Put some of my floats in here. Look at these giant ears. Big old ears. Yeah, these these ears are actually going to uh, go on the Lady of the Lake, which was destroyed by a hurricane just recently. So they brought me up the remnants of her, and I'm going to be putting her back together and taking her back down there for billionaire. And where is where is that in Alabama? It's down there in uh, it's Alberta. Alberta. It's down Alabama. there at uh, where Barber's Marina is. But you'll, you'll see some of these pieces. Now, I've got molds for just about all the, the giant's heads. Now, oh, let yeah. See, let me see if I can you know, point out some of them. That one's upside down, but that one is of the, of the idiot. Yeah, the half wet. The half wet. And, and you got the one. standard muffler man. Right, right. Uh -huh. And then the Native American. That's almost like the muffler man uh, Mount Rushmore up here. Yeah, yeah, cool. There's, and there's, there was a version of the Paul Bunyan with the beard. Oh, okay, I don't know. That. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. So there's that the, one. The and then uh, I was working on a ten foot Yogi Bear. Uh, that's how I lost my finger. I cut this finger off working on a ten foot. It Yogi grew. Bear. It grew back. <laughs> yeah, I told them a dinosaur. <laughs> no, they sewed this thing back on. The only problem is, is it, like, it was my middle finger. So like, when I'm flipping somebody the bird, it only goes halfway up. So it's embarrassing. So I don't. I can't even. I can't. Oh. We're, we're, we're still trying to stock some of the things. There's Pedro. There's a miniature Pedro. Oh, you got a little... Of the border. Got Pedro's body up uh -huh. there. Yeah. Yeah, really small head. He's like the Hulk. But, he's, but, but he makes up for it with his sombrero. The giant sombrero. 
This was destroyed in a hurricane. Oh yeah, she looks rough. Yeah, but now anybody else would say this was totaled. But what people, but anybody else doesn't really realize that, you know, I built the Lady of the Lake from scratch. From, there was nothing that existed and I yeah. built her from nothing. If I already have something, then it's a matter of putting together, it's like, it's like TSA putting together pieces of the puzzle and rebuilding this. And so I can take her into my studio and this piece is gonna match up to this piece and this piece is gonna match up to that piece. And look, here's her, you know, I got one of the giant ears that we made a cast off of. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you! <laughs> I feel like reservoir dogs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, can you hear this? Can you hear me now? But yeah, I remember I remember coming out and seeing her back when she was in the lake. This is what she looks like now. Oh. But in about two months, she will be down in Alabama again. And, uh, yeah, no, take a look. This is just... Yeah. There are pieces that that are still sort of attached and I just lay these back out and re-fiberglass over it. So the shape will be will be there. It's just a matter of uh, just, like I said, just putting A to B and B to C and C to D and on and on and on. And if there are any pieces that are missing, well, I just fill in the gaps. Wanted to come down the road just a little bit and check out the brand new Johnny Appleseed here at the uh, Halcon Days Cider Company. He's, he's brand new for this place, but he was actually uh, looking over the Enchanted Castle Studios for uh, for a while since, uh, gosh, the early 90s. Anyway, we, we changed the whole entrance and nice. shined him up a little. Still in the neighborhood, yeah, cleaned him up a little bit. You can actually smell the cider in the air. One final thing I wanted to check out today before we left Virginia. Now personally, I don't celebrate April Fool's Day, but Mark on the other hand is a huge fan of the holiday and every year he'll put up an overnight art installation to celebrate the 1st of April. And uh, we are standing here next to a field that contains this year's April Fool's Day surprise. And it's a little ways out there so I figure to get a look at it, we'll dust off Possum 3 as he is back in action. So thank you for joining me here today in uh, Natural Bridge, Virginia. And a uh, big thanks to Mark Klein for being a generous host once again. Always love coming out here, checking on Dinosaur Kingdom 2. There's always something new, always something interesting uh, being added. And I'm hopefully they're, they're gonna add a dinosaur dungeon, I think next year, a, a haunt version of the dinosaur kingdom which i'm really stoked about can't wait to see that but uh, thank you guys for joining me um, if you like these videos consider subscribing i'll let you know when a new video comes out uh if you want to check out some of the older videos on my channel i've been to the 48 continental united states filming roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun random stuff uh, if you'd like to help support the channel consider donating to patreon three dollars a month we'll get you a postcard once a month, and uh, also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, uh, including a new dark ride themed pin. All that information is in the description, and all that just helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. <laughs>